Now starting, all attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, traders. If you can uh, hear me and see my screen, just type yes in the questions, please, and we'll get started here. <clears throat> All right, excellent. Thanks, guys. Okay, just uh, copying a link here for you guys so uh, you can attend the advanced order flow webinar later today. Okay, in about uh, 26 minutes or so. <clears throat> but this is the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. Okay, so this is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. So uh, let's just go through it here. Um, uh, there's two webinars today. Every every day there's two webinars. Okay, One is this this webinar here, the Platform Details webinar. And this is just to go over uh, the basics uh, so you guys understand uh, what Bookmap is, how to connect it, uh, uh, the markets that it connects to, uh, how to get it, uh, and then some of the uh, elements in the user interface, and then some of the uh, Bookmap uh, or the um, phenomena that Bookmap uncovers due to its market visualization, okay, and then how to read it. Uh, so it's just based putting those basics together. Um, but then we have the advanced order flow webinar that follows that. Okay. And this is at 11 a.m. Eastern. Okay. And it goes for about an hour. Uh, it's, uh, we go through a lot of detail here in the order flow. Uh, and, um, uh, you know, starting to look at bigger picture, uh, top down approach into microstructure. Uh, and um, due to our analysis, then we start to anticipate future price movement, okay, by reading the order flow and what Bookmap is objectively telling us, All right? So no bias, just uh, if the, what Bookmap is saying, uh, what uh, what is showing us here, reading it, uh, then we can start to anticipate uh, the, the movement of price. Uh, and that's the whole goal of this second webinar. So I'm going to put that link in here for you. So if you want to register for that today, uh, you have it, uh, and uh, uh, we'll um, we'll start at 11 Eastern, all right? Um, so that uh, uh, gives you insight here as well that when you register for Bookmap, uh, it comes with education. Okay, so let's go back to the platform details uh, webinar, and you can see here uh, Bookmap uh, educational course uh, listed down below here, uh, and uh, this is uh, whoops, sorry about that. Hold on. All right, uh, so the educational course is available at any time, okay? It's um, uh, already been uh, presented uh, and it's recorded. Uh, but um, uh, it's a four-part educational course and, um, uh, you know, even advanced uh, users uh, have been trading for decades may not be aware of some of these things. And it's nothing really advanced. It's just more into the microstructure and really what is making price move. Understanding uh, those elements is important, uh, very important. You see it on all time frames. So we we take that data, uh, and then uh, we um, or that that education, uh, and then we cover that same process in the advanced order flow live webinars. So you can learn about it, but then you can see it every day in the live webinars, and you can ask questions about it. Okay, so uh, that's the, the process here. So when you subscribe uh, to Bookmap, it comes with the education, all right? Uh, and um, uh, going through that whole educational course there. Okay, so uh, let's uh, dive into the website uh, and uh, we'll define what Bookmap is, how to connect it, and, um, uh, and, and what it costs, okay? So uh, just scroll down here a bit. There's an intro video uh, in the beginning here of the website. We'll continue to scroll down. Uh, we also connect to U.S. equities. Okay, and then I'm going to scroll down to and stop here at connectivity. Okay, so let's define what Bookmap is. We are a software trading platform with unique visualization uh, capabilities. Okay, so we're not a broker, nor are we a data provider. We uh, connect to three different 
types of markets, digital currencies, futures markets, and U.S. equities. Okay, now the digital currencies right now uh, is for GDAX exchange only. That's going to change soon. Uh, you'll have the capability to connect to other uh, digital currency uh, exchanges as well. All right, and that data is free from us uh, that for the uh, GDAX exchange. Okay, so uh, even with the uh, uh, free version of Bookmap, uh, you'll get access to live GDAX uh, data. All right, so but for the U.S. equities and for the futures, you need to provide the data. Okay, uh, so uh, and this is uh, how you connect. Okay, um, all of these different data providers here, and you can see that in the um, list here we have some platforms you can connect via the API of Ninja TTX Trader Pro and Interactive Brokers Traders Workstation so you have that option if you want however it's better uh, much cleaner uh, better data to get it directly from the data provider like CQG rhythmic gain IQ feed transact and dev experts okay now if you're not familiar with dev experts it's kind of a uh, newer or maybe you're, you just you've never heard it uh, this is for the connecting to the US equities okay through DX feed All right and uh, you can read about it here uh, and uh, you get NASDAQ total view you can get edge X or you can get both of them together as a, uh, a combo consolidated feed if you have questions about it just ask me I'd be happy to uh, to go through uh, equities uh, went through a couple of different webinars yesterday uh, maybe you guys attended uh, and looked at a lot of different uh, types of um, uh, setups and order flow phenomena. It's great stuff to see in the equities uh, markets are, where the larger players stick out a little bit better. All right. Now, uh, that's how you uh, define what bookmap is, how you connect it, and then here is how you can get bookmap. Uh, you can get it yearly, 20% uh, discount, or monthly. And then you have the different versions here. Okay. There's digital and there's global. Uh, and the digital version here you can see is free. Okay? It connects to a live GDAX account or uh, ex exchange. Uh, you only get one digital currency at a time, though. That market's open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, so you can always see how Bookmap is operating in a live environment. That's the whole idea here with the, the free version. Okay? Even if you trade equities or just futures, uh, still you get uh, uh, Bookmap up and running in a live market um, without uh, any uh, uh, data fees or um, uh, any you can you know get it on the on the weekend uh, and take a look uh, no no problem at all okay now it's limited support it's also limited education okay so the digital plus version connects to GDAX exchange you get up to 20 different digital currencies at a time uh, and um, you get a U.S. equities delayed feed here. You also get that in the uh, free version. Uh, but you also receive the advanced education that I've been talking about and access to the live order flow webinars. Okay. You also receive full support. Uh, and, uh, and you can trade right from a GDAX uh, or right from the bookmap chart into a live GDAX account fully funded. You have that capability as well. You can also record and replay your data. Okay, so uh, a lot of different uh, uh, features here for the digital plus version. Okay, so that's the distinction there. Now the global version includes uh, the digital currencies. Okay, so you, you get everything in digital plus, but you also get the capability to connect to futures market and the U.S. equities that I just covered. All right now you will need to provide the data for those, but that's how you connect to those markets with Bookmap Global. Okay, now the Global Plus version, uh, the only difference here uh, is that you get uh, all of our add-on indicators. Okay, one is the ability to trade right from the chart, which is a big advantage because you have the liquidity heat map in front of you. you front run high liquidity uh, to uh, uh, make sure that uh, your target is hit or uh, your entry is um, uh, filled or hide your uh, high, um, your uh, stops behind high liquidity. Okay, so to try to uh, keep uh, your stops from getting uh, a hit. All right, um, large lot tracker here. Uh, we're looking at very specific players in the market. Okay, with our uh, pr proprietary add-on indicators here, uh, and identifying their behavior. Okay, and balance indicators for both book and volume. 
Iceberg detector, great stuff. We saw a really good example yesterday. Uh, we're using in the advanced order flow webinar. Uh, in fact, uh, I'll probably take a screenshot of that and uh, uh, put that on our uh, uh, web page. Um, great stuff there. Uh, it's, a, it's a new uh, indicator. Uh, there's actually two iceberg indicators now, so you have your choice. Uh, using that new one, though, has been giving us some pretty good information. Uh, so it's uh, hidden liquidity. Okay, You don't see it in the book. Uh, and uh, we can identify that with these algos. Okay, and we have a correlation tracker. You can add other markets onto the bookmap chart. All right, uh, that's that. Let's uh, just move on here. A couple other resources you might want to check out uh, on Twitter. Follow us here at bookmap underscore pro. Uh, you can see all sorts of data here. Uh, and uh, this is about the new iceberg, for example. You might want to take a look. Uh, and then um, uh, the uh, YouTube page here as well, all sorts of videos here. Uh, this is the basic education. Uh, and um, uh, just uh, go through some of the playlists uh, homepage. You have the intro video here, uh, intro videos, features and components, uh, and then order flow video snippets. Watch as many of these as you can. This is the kind of content we go through in the advanced order flow webinars. All right, so let's take a look at Bookmap and uh, the Bookmap interface here. Okay, we're looking at the uh, NQ, okay, uh, NASDAQ E Mini. And uh, let's, uh, you can see that uh, there's, I have a lot of add on indicators here. So actually, I'm going to uh, close those up. You can see, like, for example, the, <clears throat> the sub panel here for cumulative volume delta. Let's close that up. Okay. Our iceberg detector here, I'm going to uh, turn that off. You, we also have a historical VWAP. And we have a point of control indicator here, which is the blue line. Uh, we're going to close all of those. And we can look at those. We're going to turn them back on in the advanced order flow webinar. Okay, but we're just going to go through the basics here. All right. And um, all right, so uh, just looking here at the book map interface uh, and uh, what's going on here. Uh, in Bookmap, um, well, and for those of you who are new, uh, you might be looking at uh, something that uh, you've never seen before. It looks rather confusing. What is this uh, big uh, blob here? Uh, it's liquidity. Okay, this is the heat map in Bookmap. This is uh, uh, the history of the limit order book. Okay, so let's go through the process here, and um, uh, it, we'll we'll go through each element on the Bookmap chart. Okay, there's only three of them though. So it's really simple, really straightforward, and very objective data. Okay, there's no, there's no sort of uh, indicator here uh, or derivative of time, price, or volume. It's truly the market uh, and very objective view of it. Okay, the three elements on this chart, current and historical best bid and offer, the volume that traded on that best bid and offer, uh, and then the uh, the heat map here, which is just showing you the uh, evolution of the uh, of the order book, okay, current and historical. All right, so let's uh, switch those off. So we we're going to really simplify this here, and then I will um, I'm going to turn on a candlestick chart. We're going to look at a five minute candlestick chart here. Okay, this is a view we're all accustomed to. Uh, open, high, low, and close of a five-minute period. Okay, now we probably, you know, depending on how long you've been trading, you might you might have been looking at this for years, right? decades even. Uh, and um, uh, the, uh, the 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 there's so many problems here uh, with the with the candlestick chart. Okay, the, uh, number one is it's aggregated data. Okay, it's a time period, uh, and uh, we don't know what happened within that time period. Okay, it's locked up. Okay, it's completely opaque. Open high, low, and close of that five-minute period, for example. Okay, what about the volume? Where did the volume trade? Uh, precisely, where did it trade on the candle? When? Uh, what was the speed of the move? Where was the microstructure? Uh, all of these questions, uh, we we just don't have an answer to. Okay, it's all completely locked up in a candle, uh, and um, uh, we can very simply. Uh, start to look at just the price action of this candle here by turning on best bid and offer. Okay, and that's the uh, first element on the bookmap chart here. 
is historical best bid and offer. Okay, so um, now we have it, and now we can zoom into that area and we can look at some of these. Uh, hold on a minute. Okay, and we can look at uh, some of these microstructural areas. Okay, what I was uh, mentioning before, okay? and this isn't uh, uh, not it's not a bad example. Uh, so, uh, what do I mean by microstructure? Okay, well, let's just put this whole five-minute period into the chart here. So now, between each dotted line is actually one minute. Okay, and uh, the microstructural elements here. Um, well, here's an area of consolidation. And it was broken. It was broken to the downside. This is, you know, uh, really, this is truly microstructure here. Another little area of consolidation that was broken and the move down. Okay. Now, uh, look at this, uh, you know, this is like an A, B, C, D move. Uh, well, it's actually one more, one more leg here. Uh, but look at how the retest here came right back up to where it broke from. Okay. You're going to see that again and again, even on the on the on the monthly chart, the highest time frames uh, that are there. Okay, so here's another little area of consolidation that was broken, okay. and it came down into this area here. Actually, that was now broken, and it came back up. And look at the little retest here, almost to where it broke from here. Okay, and uh, anything that you guys notice in this little area right here, okay. any patterns there? I'm going to clear the drawings. Okay, as so well as the reverse head and shoulders. Okay. And uh, this is obviously microstructure. But you're going to see these patterns again and again. You're going to see why they exist. They exist because of the order flow. Uh, and um, uh, anyway, we uh, continued on up. We came back up to where we uh, kind of drop front up here. And then we continue to the downside. Anyway, the the major point here uh, is the um, uh, all of these kinds of microstructural areas. We want to understand how that um, evolves and who's in control. And we're going to see that with the volume and the heat map. Okay, but we need to first see the microstructure. Right now, let's turn on the um, the volume. Okay, and let's see who's in control in some of these areas here. And this is a, a not a bad example. It's pretty indicative. Uh, you can see the uh, them hitting the bid here, and we see a lot of red, right? Clusters of red, and that's the volume uh, that is trading. It's aggressive sell orders. Let's zoom into this area and let me show you. Okay, and these are those two elements in in detail here. Right, so uh, we're looking at half a second between each vertical dotted line now, uh, and you can see truly like how how these markets trade. Uh, for that first element we, we defined, best offer is the red line, best bid is the green line. The green dots here are transactions that take place on the best offer. These are aggressive market buy orders. Okay, we have all of that detail here if you want uh, to use this uh, data tip tool, uh, down to the um, uh, nanosecond level uh, we have this data. And, and you can see precisely uh, when this volume traded, how much, uh, and uh, w you know what type here, right? So um, not a lot of buying here, but look at the selling cluster of selling over here. Okay, about a little back and forth here, another cluster of selling as they uh, continue to hit the bid here, uh, and um, and we can see uh, uh, precisely these details. Um, so that's what we're displaying here, uh, those two elements. Okay. And, uh, and you can see if we continue to zoom in here, we're going to, you know, really start to open this up. And you can see down to, uh, you know, millions of seconds here, okay, even billions of seconds. We, we're recording every single market event. Now, as we zoom back out, we do aggregate it just visually okay, into a bigger dot. Uh, and then uh, that's it. Okay. So... Uh, everything is very precisely recorded. Uh, none of it is aggregated, so you know exactly what traded here. Okay, here's our downtrend. Okay, note hitting the bid here, clusters of uh, selling, another one here, and another one here, and then look over in this area here where the buyers start to step in, right here. Okay, uh, still in a downtrend. Okay, uh, and um, don't break the high here. We come back down. 
uh, retest where we broke from here, and we find more buyers starting to step in. Okay, and then our head and shoulders pattern uh, plays out. Uh, anyway, uh, those are two elements on the book map chart. Okay, now the third element is the heat map. So let's add that on. Okay, and you'll note that this is what's happening outside of the transactions. Well, it includes uh, transactions as well, uh, like right in these areas here. Uh, but uh, this is where they're bidding and offering. Okay, and that's all it is. Uh, so it might look like a lot of noise, but it actually gives quite a bit of insight here. Okay, for example, look at them in these areas here. Okay, and is this real liquidity? Uh, answer is no, uh, because they're pulling. Boy, I shouldn't say that. It is real liquidity, uh, but they don't have the intent to trade because as price is coming down, they're pulling and they're con they continue to add lower. They don't want to trade here. Okay, although they're in the book, they don't want to trade. They're pulling. Okay, they pull again and they pull and then down here they stay in the book. This is where they actually decided to trade. Okay, and this is fact. We know this, right? They stayed in the book. Some of it pulled and then uh, some of it stayed in. And look how the transactions take place right into where they're providing that liquidity. Okay, in fact, they completely absorbed it at this price level here. Okay, at 25 and a half. Okay, why is that? Well, because there was no more transactions below it. No more selling. Sellers dried up. They were absorbed. Okay, and we go up and we go sideways for a bit, but these guys are out. We get another uh, test down here, and we see that the selling continues. Okay, but at this point, they were absorbed. Okay, and you're going to note this kind of phenomena again and again. You're going to see it on low time frames to high time frames. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, maybe that uh, puts a whole new kind of spin on how you look at what's going on uh, in the market. Okay. What's going on within these candles here? Okay. Now, how is this whole heat map derived? Let's cover that. Uh, and then we're going to uh, uh, go to the, um, uh, we'll, we'll stop this webinar and we'll, we'll continue on in the analysis because uh, we really haven't gotten to a lot of analysis here. Good stuff down here. Uh, really nice, okay, down at the figure 7,200, okay, absorbed, completely absorbed here, buyer step in, all right, so uh, we're, we'll go through this uh, in about five minutes in the advanced order flow webinar, okay, but for those that are new right now, let's continue to uh, cover uh, what's going on here uh, in the um, uh, uh, in the heat map and how it's derived. So you have an understanding, uh, a context of these three elements on the book map chart. Okay, and let's get rid of the candlestick chart. It just really gets in the way. Um, all right, so uh, uh, how is it derived? Well, okay, let's zoom in here a little bit. Uh, and then uh, we'll start with this vertical white line here. This divides historical market and current market. Okay, Current market is right here. Okay, this is our current best bid and offer, okay? And this is the uh, current market window, and you see the heat map here, okay? Well, how is it derived? It's all derived from the limit order book, okay? Here's our price ladder here, and then uh, you can see the um, uh, the red uh, uh, numbers up here. Well, uh, these are uh, contracts. It's liquidity. It's where traders are lined up to provide liquidity. They want to be sellers at these specific price levels, and uh, they're waiting uh, to trade waiting in line to trade at those levels. Okay, so that's uh, the sellers on the offer. This is your depth on the offer. And now here's your depth on the bid and where they want to be buyers. And we can see them very clearly, All right? Uh, now, um, the, the numeric values that you see here, for example, let's look at the, a um, uh, little closer here, 101 contracts, 100 contracts up here at uh, 15. Okay, now when they start to, to change or pull and add liquidity, and you can see that is happening constantly. Uh, they're always adding and pulling liquidity here. Uh, it's reflected here in the heat map, okay? As it is right now, you can see it's down to 77 and is yellow. So the scale of the heat map's up here, okay? That reddish orange is very high liquidity, yellow's less liquidity, then white, and then blue, and then uh, black is the lowest amount of liquidity. And here, here it is. They just pulled and they just started to add back in okay. as price is coming up. Okay, so in uh, there, now, now we've traded through that area. 
Okay, but they pulled a lot of that liquidity, right? Well, let's look at let's get an answer here of, of precisely what traded here. Okay, and how how much did, was it real liquidity? Uh, did they stay in the book? And uh, yeah, uh, looks like uh, 73 of those contracts traded. Okay, uh, and uh, that's fact. Okay, so now we know. Uh, and uh, uh, they were providing about 72, uh, yeah, 75 here, uh, and then 72, and then um, uh, you know they they stayed in the book. These guys are filled. They waited. They they stayed in the book. Uh, they got what they wanted. They are short at this price level. Okay, feeling the squeeze here. Uh, well, I mean, it, who knows? I mean, larger players like to layer in uh, to their, their, these positions, so uh, they're probably the same players that are up here as well, uh, and uh, starting to absorb even more, uh, and uh, starting to stay in the book as well a bit here, a bit pulling as well, okay, and you can see they completely pulled here. All right, uh, so we're starting to understand now. Okay, derived all from the limit order book uh, in the current market, and then when they pull that liquidity, it's reflected here on the chart historically. Okay, and it's these striations here that we see in the heat map. This is the adding and pulling of liquidity. All right. So what this allows us to do is start to understand the um, uh, intent of traders in the auction. Okay, here on the offer and here on the bid. All right, now we continue on up to the upside and uh, they're starting to add in a little bit higher here at 22. Okay, we've seen all sorts of stuff here. Uh, look at the uh, the bid is getting very aggressive here. Okay, 90 contracts at the best bid. They traded into it and uh, uh, we were finding, uh, well, we found a few more buyers and now the sellers took them on. Okay. But we're starting to understand this auction here. Okay. This might be new information for you, uh, and um, it can be invaluable. Okay. It's real. We can we can make the distinction between those that are have the intent to trade and those that are don't that don't. Uh, a lot of times you'll see uh, or you'll hear from other traders uh, that um, well, I don't really look at the dome that much uh, because all of this area, areas of uh, high liquidity is fake. And it's not true. Uh, we can see where they're getting filled or not. Uh, and, uh, and now you can start to understand the context of that auction. And that's what we're going to take to the next uh, next webinar. So uh, you guys have the link. Uh, let me paste it in here again. Okay, there it is. It's in the chat. Uh, so sign up uh, and then uh, join, join us in the next webinar here. Okay. We do this for Friday, Friday only. Uh, and then... Um, uh, else uh, you, you can subscribe, but uh, uh, it's to give you guys a taste of what we do in the advanced order flow webinars. All right. Okay. We'll see you there. Bye.